I know we should probably be focusing on getting you out of here, but this music sounds... Is this a techno remix of the Surgeon Simulator song? <laughs> On. Like, I want to be out there with the people. Why can't I be the one dancing and Chicken Man here can be the one rolling downhill to the ocean? God knows he's got the waistline to pull it off. What's up, guys? Welcome back to I Am Fish. That game that's surprisingly difficult to give an intro for because like, you just never know where it's going to take you. One minute, you're hanging out in a pet shop doing fish stuff, and the next, you're traveling across rooftops in an Amazon worker's piss jar, or causing a 10-car pile up on the freeway, or uncovering some mad surgeon's underground crimes against humanity, or maybe just casually hijacking an airport. Look, we've been through a whole lot to try to reunite this little fish family, but I think today we're finally going to pull it off. We've only got one more fish left to help escape, and it's the one who I've been affectionately referring to as Poop Fish. That was really just because he was kind of brown and lumpy. It might be more accurate to call him Puffer Fish. Okay, so he's picked up on Goldie's signal. Hopefully he knows what that means. You can never be certain because he is a bit of an airhead. Okay, I think he's picking up what the others are putting down. Good! Now, all you have to do is get out of here. The ocean is... Right there, in a different area code. They really don't want to make this easy, do they? Can we just take a quick second to appreciate the highly detailed, next-generation environment that we're about to explore? Or at least that's what a Pokemon game these days would call it. But before we could do that, we need to prioritize no longer being an attic decoration. Like, what kind of lunatic keeps a poisonous pufferfish in a bubble? I just don't get it. They should consider themselves lucky that I'm only knocking all their shit over. In all reality, I just should be knocking them over. Or, or giving them a great big hug. Speaking of which, can I actually inflate? Oh, okay. I can't control anything when inflated. So I'm not really sure what that would be used for. Maybe it's like nature's version of an airbag? You know, like if we're about to brace for impact, then we can inflate and... That will result in our brain being less bruised. Even though in all reality, would you be able to tell if this guy had a bruised brain? A concussion is just second nature to him. Like, I'll put it to you this way. When we started the game and had to eat a bunch of bread to make us super smart, he could have probably used an extra loaf or two. I'm just saying he kind of appears a little bit simple. Oh, there's some more. Ooh, okay. All right then. Sometimes it, it pays to look like a ball, and other times it pays to act like one. <laughs> That's fine. I, I didn't want that pet food or that extra bread. I'm perfect the way I am. Interesting. We've got a bunch of little kitty poop prints. Odds. Should uh, maybe go down and investigate those. Looks like they're leading over to the foods, but maybe coming from an exit? No. I thought that there would be a pet door here. Oh, no, wait, I could probably open this myself. Yeah, you know what? I'm a strong independent fish. I don't need no other pet's doors. I can do stuff myself, none of which seems to involve inflating, so... I'm a little confused, but I'm also free. There you go. Now, we just need to catch a couple of Ubers to the ocean and we'll be set. Well, as it stands right now, I'd say our objective might as well be on the moon. I mean, it's not downhill the entire way, but it is downhill some of the way, which is good news for the guy shaped like a ball, trapped in a ball. I, I might be able to just let gravity be my Uber? Yeah. Oh, wait. Is that a river? Rivers are good. Rivers make life a whole lot easier. Uh, oh. Wait, now I can roll. Wow. All right. Yeah, you know what? I could get used to that. <laughs> if there's one thing I hate as a fish, it's constantly drying out. But if I can travel across land, then I'm just a couple million years away from growing legs. Seems simple enough, which is good for him. You know, when wet, swim. When dry, roll. I can do that. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's a rule for what to do when airborne, so this should be 
interesting at the very least. Oh, he sounds like a dodgeball on impact. It's fine though, can't get a concussion. We are okay, we're moving along. We'll be at the ocean in no time. I'm kind of curious what the hell happened to this river? It looks rougher than mid 2000s Kesha. Every now and then it just has a dry spot or a road where it turns into a forest. To bring it back to the Pokemon joke from earlier, I get that there have been complaints of too much water in the past, but you can't really apply that to something like a river. Otherwise you just get whatever the hell this is. It's a dirt ramp. The further I go, the more things seem to change. It's undeniably looking a little bit more lively around here, which is always a good thing. And I would like to stay lively if that's possible, so maybe give me a heads up when I'm about to plummet a couple of stories. Ooh. Yeah, something tells me that a balloon fish's weakness might be spikes. <laughs> Can I maybe go around these? Let's try going around them. I really don't want to try going over them. We'll just uh, roll our fishy ass over here. Easy enough. Suck it, nature. I'm kind of tempted to go for a roll in the briar patch on purpose, like, just to see what would happen, but I'm afraid I'm gonna bust a hole and then go flying in random directions with a squeaky fart noise following me. The game is called I Am Fish, not I Am a Clown Party Favor, so let's just try to stick to getting to the ocean. Finally, a little bit of decent water to be swimming through. No, 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 no! How am I constantly getting sucked underground into pipes? Is that something that fish normally deal with? Can I inflate and lock things? Nope, not even a little bit. All right, well, I guess we're screwed again. Or nuts. Okay, well the good news is we're not underground, but the bad news is we have a very big log to move. Um, Do you have some kind of power that I'm unaware of? Oh, I'm picking up what you're putting down. So if I inflate when underwater, it'll boost me up. That's really clever, so you do actually have a bunch of abilities. Turns out inflating yourself and becoming all puffy isn't just something that happens when you eat a bunch of carbs or when you're threatened by a predator. You can also use it to jump, you can use it to roll, you can use it to piss me off because I'm apparently not very good at any of this. Come on, dude, work with me. There we go. Okay, now we're rolling. Okay, yeah, nothing is gonna stand in my way. I say before something is immediately gonna stand in my way, I'm sure. I'm still waiting for it because I always get Judas at just the right time on this journey. <laughs> There's far too much open, empty water for me to start feeling comfortable. Interesting, what have we got here? Okay, yeah, we can go for a roll through the park. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Great. We're back to Piss Jar, and this seems to be Seagull Park? That would be the Judasing that I was expecting. <laughs> Alright, well, we know how to keep them off our nuts, our, our little fishy nuggets. We just have to not move, right? As long as we stay still, then eventually they'll lose interest. There are so many goddamn seagulls around here. <laughs> I'm in danger. Why am I breaking out a Ralph Wiggum quote at a time like this? <laughs> like 5% of people watching this video is gonna get that. I'm, I'm sorry, I blabber mouth when I'm stressed and you could say I'm stressed right now because the seagulls really want a piece of me. Uh, can I go through this? Why did I have to leave the river? The river was good. It was a little bit boring, but that's okay. I'm fine with boring. Can't I just inflate myself and make them go away? I thought that was the whole point. Like, I'm supposed to be threatening. No seagull would be dumb enough to eat me. Okay, maybe those seagulls would be, but they'd only be dumb enough to do it once, that's for sure. <laughs> I think we might be in the clear. This looks like the boundary of Seagull Park, maybe? Oh, I'm seeing a little bit of water down there. Yeah, if I could just... Uh, oh, oh, roll, right. I forgot we can roll right into the dumpster water. 
I'm telling you, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> I can actually move this thing, though. All right, then. Well, I'm never gonna be able to wash this scent off. Rolling really opens up a bunch of possibilities. We've got a bit of a decision ahead of us, because we could go down there and hope there's water among all the seagull shadows. Or we could go in the abandoned building. I kind of want to try for the abandoned building. I don't know if this is a good idea, but then again, I don't know anything because I'm a fish. Oh, there was a conveniently placed fish bubble there. Oh my god. Okay, well, the seagulls are onto us again, and I do not have a lot going for me right now. What the hell? It's an abandoned bar. Are you kidding me? So we left Seagull Park and found Seagull Bar? Am I just going to go to all of their hangouts? I don't trust the color of some of these boards. And I don't know if saying that is going to get me cancelled, but I, I'm just not going to use them. I'll stay away from them. And hopefully that will make the seagulls leave me alone. Okay, well, uh, we've got a washing machine taking a load off. Oh, that's a bad joke. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even mean it. It surprised me as much as you guys. You gotta love it when the fish melts your brain out your ears. That's why I wear these headphones specifically. How are we doing? All right, We're on the ground floor. I'm pretty sure that seagull bartender is looking right at us. Everything's cool, my guy, okay? You don't need to call the bouncer or, or the flyer. I'm sure I'm the bouncer in this place, but I'm leaving, all right? I'm rolling on my merry way and hoping to find water soon. There we go. All right, puddle to puddle again. I'll take it over the seagulls. Beggars can't be choosers. It just dawned on me. We've spent multiple episodes in multiple different lakes and rivers and have never seen another fish in them. This is the first time. Hello? Excuse me? Would you like to join the fish rebellion? We're gonna overthrow the land oppressors. You're welcome to come. I could print off a flyer. Or you could just keep smelling the ground. I guess, can I at least get directions to the ocean? I would really appreciate it. I'm kind of lost here in your little lake. Ooh. What do we have here? I, who am I to say no to getting caught by a fisherman? I even knew what it was, but I was just like, yeah, you know what? It's a thing. I like interacting with things. Maybe I could like put up a bit of a fight or or like, or I don't know, but does this help? Does this make you regret your decision? Oh, line snapped. Oh, that actually worked. Okay, well screw this, I'm getting the hell out of here. Bad news, it turns out this lake is isolated. There's no river leading out of it. So I assume we want to be caught by this dipshit and I actually need to put up like a bit of a fight, but not too much of a fight. We, we don't want to break the line, but we want to make him know that we're worth holding on to. Yeah, a bit of a fighter, that's right. Maybe I can make myself look intimidating. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I just don't want him to eat me. That's the biggest just thing. More. Oh yeah, just just, just here, look at me. Come on, just work for me. Come on, no, I, I'm gonna, gonna fight. I gotta fight now, D just give me a hug. How about that, great big hug, there we go. Push me up against Actually, your junk. You're a bit of a fighter for such a small fish. Yeah. A fancy one too. Okay. Be worth a few quid. Okay, good. Put you in here. In a bucket? I'm find a buyer for you. Alive? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm alive. He threw me away at first and said, like, oh, yeah, I need someone who actually put up a fight. As if my entire life hasn't been a fight. Okay, I thought we were going to end up on a sushi platter. Not in a club full of white people dancing. <laughs> All right, well, I might be able to find my way out of here. They must have a janitor somewhere, right? Usually there's, like, a, a bucket lying around. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, so we can probably like roll our way. Oh, damn it, they got a cage on the top? They plant a head, or they don't want the drunks grabbing the puffer fish. I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> so how the hell do I get out of here? I know we should probably be focusing on getting you out of here, but this music sounds... Is this a techno remix of the Surgeon Simulator song? <laughs> oh, come on!
come on! Like, I want to be out there with the people. Why can't I be the one dancing and Chicken Man here can be the one rolling downhill to the ocean? God knows he's got the waistline to pull it off. Oh, of course, we need to use our waistline to pull it off. All right, so Chicken Man taught us one thing, I suppose. Now, if I can try to do that again with a little bit of forward momentum, then I didn't plan ahead. Uh, oh, right, right, janitor bucket, I knew that. Okay, great, perfect, wonderful. You won't mind if I borrow this, do you? I'm sure I'm not about to have instant karma slap me right in the nips. Uh, listen, dude, it was a joke. It's all fun and games, okay? I appreciate the poultry position that you're taking right now. Can I please just slip on by without you having me kick the bucket or, or kicking my bucket, whatever you prefer? Oh. Oh, come on! Mop buckets and stairs mix about as well as myself and tequila, but we don't have many options going for us up here. And it's apparently midnight, which means this place could close like any hour, so we may want to get a move on. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, like the, the janitor had to get the bucket upstairs somehow. Maybe this is how he does it. It's like 100 pounds of water. He clearly didn't lift it. Oh, that drop hits hard. I really like that. This guy's got moves. No wonder they want the floor wet. Okay, you just Michael Jackson shimmy your way to the left. Yeah, and, and I'll just roll my way to the right. Everything will be fine. Look at this asshole over here doing the sprinkler on his own. Like, that's gonna impress anybody. Are you kidding me? Okay, lady, you got fries with that shake? Damn. You got a dumper that would make a Ford F-150 jealous. All right, I'm done interacting with people. I need to get the hell out of here. I refuse to take the stairs again. Like, I can only push my luck so many times, so maybe we'll just go with the vent? It doesn't look like it's gonna fit this bucket. Oh, okay, that might work. <laughs> That's just a glass though. Uh, don't know how I feel about this. Can, can we just, oh, we just like shimmy it. Yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Look out below. <laughs> can I inflate in this? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, not gonna press my luck. <laughs> We're just going to slide our way to the ocean inside the vent of a nightclub. I'm starting to see the, the problem with my logic here. Oh, okay. Interesting. We're going places. We are back to being upstairs. This isn't what I wanted. I mean, like the, the owner's office, damn it. I promise I'm not abandoning you, my little fishy friends. <laughs> I will come back for you. I just, I, I need to help organize the movement. I'm very important to the cause and that's gonna require me to be able to escape. So any help you can provide would be appreciated. Really lucky that whoever owns his nightclub likes the fish aesthetic. So much so that he has a bowl on his desk and bouncy pillows leading to them. Great. <laughs> uh, sometimes you gotta be a fish. Sometimes you gotta be a ball. Sometimes you gotta die on the floor. Could you imagine if that's how this story ended? Like all the little friends were waiting in the ocean for ages and poop fish just never showed up. <laughs> all right, well, we have another vent and we have a bubble and hopefully soft carpet. There we go, wonderful. Well, luckily I've got the process of elimination on my side. Like it's only a matter of time until I find the exit, right? Because I'm gonna cover all the dance floors with all the booties, all the back rooms with all the blow, and then sooner rather than later, I'll find myself in the ceiling rafters. You gotta be kidding me. How do I keep getting further up? Like, I, I get that the vent blew me a little bit, but I didn't think it blew me that hard. Oh, okay, yeah, you know what? That's not the only thing that can blow me. Maybe we can just try to drop straight into the bucket. You think I can clear that gap? Come on, Bucket, help me out. I love you, Bucket, help me. There we go. Only a little broken glass, everything is fine. Just gotta insert myself into this conga line real quick. These are the weirdest people, I swear. Come on, come on, go, we need momentum. Beautiful. Oh, bathroom. Okay, no, no, don't kick me, don't kick me. Bathrooms are great, bathrooms are good. Bathrooms have toilets, toilets lead to the ocean. This is what I need in my life. Okay, uh, men's or women's? Wait, uh, let me try another name. We're in the queue for the toilet, mate. So 
Oh, okay. Oh, what the hell? Chug, chug. chug. No, no, hey. Greg. Oh, I should have done that. Oh my God. I completely forgot Where? this was in the first oh. I am fish. <laughs> now I'm Sorry, controlling that's... Greg. I'm controlling him from his stomach. Okay, Greg, I know the toilets are to our left, but how about we go have a bit of a dance? Wait a second. If I inflate, will you die? Oh, oh, that really gets you moving. Okay, interesting. That That's that's how I get him to move faster. Ow, sir, please stop. Please, please, please stop chicken dancing up against me. Need to find... Toilets. They're right there, Greg, but Where? this idiot won't get oh. out of our way. <laughs> so I actually Toilets. do need to go out and around. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. As soon as we can cut left, we have to. Keep an eye out for being able to cut left. Just move through the dancers. There we go. Everything, everything is fine. Everything is good. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. Oh, boy. I thought for sure I was just going to take him out here to be an idiot for a second, but I don't have a choice in the matter anymore. Uh... Nope, still no cut. Hey, yeah, 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 we're just gonna hang out in the conga line. <laughs> Ladies. Hey, Greg, how do you feel about getting laid with a puffer fish in your stomach? <sighs> oh, okay, I'm gonna take your continued screams for help as a no. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Maybe we can get you a little Where bread? Or <laughs> no? <gasps> Toilets! Doesn't want the bread. You don't need to be smarter. It would sop up the alcohol, not the fish, but. <laughs> Okay, I get it. I get it. We're moving. We're going through the dance floor. This is exactly the same way that I went. Everything should be fine. You want to dance Where? a little bit? She's oh. a looker. How no. you doing? Toilets. Okay, no. Get moving. Get moving. There we go. We're gonna. Oh boy. It's so difficult to control. I can't get over this. Wait, wait. More, more conga. We're fine though. Keep up the momentum. Keep running. Run, Greg. Run, run. Yes, yes. We're good. We're good. Plow on through. Here's a good lad. You got this. Okay. Toilets. Uh, there's a line for the women, so we're not gonna do the joke. We're just gonna go to the men's. Men's is fine. Everything is fine, right? We're nowhere close to vomiting. I think. I'm just assuming that the more his guts fill up, the closer I am to getting Where expelled. Are the toilets? Can't imagine, Greg. No idea. There we go. There's a woman in here toilets. using the urinal. Need. What? Find Excuse me? Are you? Oh, that's a dude. Okay, Toilets. that makes some sense. Need gonna feel this? No! No! Find Don't! It's oh, you Judas! Okay. Well, ew. Ew. We're gonna die. We're gonna. Ew. Oh no! I wanted a nice, clean nightclub toilet, cleaner than the urinal waterfall. This is the worst. Are we, are, we, are we dead? Is this hell? This seems like fish hell. We have to one big final jump. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. What? Watch, watch out. We need to keep up momentum. Water is probably good. We need water. Okay. And then, uh, victory music. Victory music is exactly what we're looking for. Come on, bud. You got this. Just to stay moister than an oyster. That's the requirement. That's the bare minimum. We keep shrinking down. Get back up. We're not drying out. That looks like the ocean! Yes! Finally! Okay, go find your friends! Jesus Christ, we're waiting for months! Finally. Now, who's ready to take over the world? <laughs> Anybody? First order of business, we need to recruit these stupid fish. Get them bred, make them smart. We're gonna need an army. There's a bunch of recruits. No. No, don't tell me you're stupid. What? All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of I Am Fish, guys. Apparently, we're not done yet. There's a finale, because as soon as we all get back to the ocean, 
we get caught again. Like, they're smart fish. That's like being a, a really clean turd. But if you guys want to see more, one final episode, then as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe we'll finally get to the bottom of this mystery is what's going on with Surgeon Simulator and I Am Bread, or overthrow the world. Whatever comes first. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.